Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the most alpha male on TikTok. All of their content talks about how to be an alpha male and how to do XYZ for an alpha female. And alpha females only respect an alpha male and XYZ. Uh, it's really funny. We're also going to take a look at some of the comments section if there's time. I'm not saying this dude is not an alpha male, okay? He's muscular. He's got tattoos. Maybe all the cringy words that come out of his mouth don't matter. Um, I don't know. Let's take a look and find out. In order to prepare myself to become an alpha, I must first apply comb to mustache. Things you should whisper in her ear. And it has copyrighted music in the background, so I'll sing it. Shut your mouth and run me like a river. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I was too busy singing. We need to go back and read these words because this is crazy. Things you should whisper in her ear. Country music intensifies. Good girl. Okay. Um, good girl. Um, are you responding to that? Meet me in the bedroom. I don't know, man. You ain't even bought me a drink yet. And you're being very pushy. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my God. Things are getting weird now, dude. Okay. Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? That's weird as heck. One of your kids is to be told I'm so proud of you. Oh, my gosh. I don't like this. Are we getting into D, D, G, L, T, L territory? What the hell? I don't know. There's an acronym for it. Daddy, little girl role play, which is the most disgusting and disturbing role play that you could ever engage in. Don't do that. Yes, I am shaming. I'm so proud of you. You don't even know me. What about all those horrible things I've been doing? Okay, so that was just one example of the kind of content that we're going to be in for. He is a dominant masculine man, so he's going to tell you, good girl, pat you on the head, meet me in the bedroom. <laughs> I like that. I like the audacity of that. You go to your wife or girlfriend, you're like, hey, honey, you pat her on the head. Good girl. Then you're like, you want to go to the bedroom? <laughs> and she's like, dude, get out. Get the hell out. I'm in here trying to get some laundry done and you try to pull this crap. Dude, get out. Next. Did you hear that? You probably heard that. Look, look at this. Rocco, sir. He's the most alpha male of all. Shake. Shake. Hmm. Mm -hmm. An alpha male has a firm paw shake, okay? Next. <laughs> alpha females roar and dominate with their careers. You know, I've been saying that for years. Okay, what are we going to do about it? Dude, get that look off your face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With the sunglasses, stop. Whether or not somebody is attractive or not is a moot point because when you start acting like this, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's cringy, right? If somebody's like, hey girl, hey baby girl. Like, aren't you going to be like, what the hell? What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> It's so weird, man. I don't care if you're the most muscular, dominant, alpha male of all time. This sort of behavior is just... Ugh. Okay. I'm not gonna leave the party without ever letting you know. That's the music that was playing on this one. But they will submit to a man masculine enough to make her want to. Will they? Is that what I'm lacking? Is it the masculinity? Dang it. Submit to me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, submit to me, you stupid bitch. <laughs> okay, this look on your face um, is completely uncalled for. <laughs> I'm going to say that there's never a time when we should be putting this particular look on our face. The reason why most of this is cringe to me is A, because of the stuff he says, and then B, because of the look he gets on his face. He's all like... Yo, uh, hey, huh, yo, <laughs> it's like fuck boy, right? Like it reminds me of Cody Ko doing his fuck boy impression. He's like, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Not Cody Ko, Curtis Connor. I'm sorry, Cody. And I'm sorry, Curtis. <laughs> You guys aren't even part of the same reaction sphere, right? It's Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, and Drew Gooden. They're part of the same thing. I don't know how I got Cody in there. Cody and Noel go together. You guys aren't allowed to cross-mingle your groups. Alpha females roar and dominate with their careers, but they will submit to a man masculine enough to make her want to. Nothing makes a woman weak in the knees like when I tell her, Hey, shut up. <laughs> Yo. How about, how about if I do this? <laughs> oh, I want to punch myself in the face, making all those stupid faces. Goodness gracious. Let's take a look at the next one. Her. There's nothing a man... <laughs> Hold on. Her. There's nothing a man can say that will make me weak. And then it's going to show him and he's going to be like... Shut up. <laughs> Ooh, my man. Okay, before you say anything, get that look off your face again. I swear, please. Please stop giving me this look, bro. You're making me so uncomfortable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You looked me down and up first, and now you're saying you're so proud of me. You looked down and then up, and then you said you're so proud of me. Um, what part of me are you proud of? That's what I would like to know. What the heck was that? There's going to be a few situations in these videos where he looks at like this, and he's like... Hey, baby. Hey. I looked you down and then up, and I went like this. <laughs> Is that doing anything for you? It's making me scared, okay? I'm scared and concerned and alarmed more than anything. But I'm not an alpha female, so this isn't for me. <laughs> okay, you're proud of me. All right, I'm getting dad vibes, not liking it. Okay, um, yeah, I, I could do without that. I could definitely do without you being proud of me. I don't, like, need your approval desperately or anything. <laughs> Please notice me. Please notice me. <laughs> <coughs> Get it together. All right, um, let's take a look at the next clip. Hello, I'm your new neighbor. Slow motion, okay. Bro, do a kickflip or I am not impressed, homie. You're on a longboard, bro. Dude, this might impress those girls from South Carolina or whatever, but I'm from Southern California, okay? And you're on a longboard. You can't even do a kickflip on that, homie. Unless I see you grind a rail, I ain't impressed. Okay, I'm, I, I'm calling the police, all right? If this is the neighborhood watch, I'm calling the police. Can you imagine you move into this new neighborhood and this dude like just comes rolling by on a longboard in slow motion, mind you, and uh, says not a damn word, right? He's rolling by, he's just looking at you like, and you're just like, what the fuck? What the hell? Dude, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. This guy, like, I don't know what kind of threat that was. I've never been threatened in such a manner. The police said I could file a report if I wanted, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Like, he he's rolling by for, like, five minutes somehow um, and just making eye contact the whole way, like... <laughs> Hey girl, hey girl, ah, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. And you're just like, oh, oh, and he kept saying he was proud of me. He didn't even say the words out loud. He kept mouthing the words. Oh my God, that's creepy. You better just keep on rolling right off into that sunset, homie. <laughs> Don't be coming back. Yeah, you just keep on going right on down that street, friend. So that was a video that we just watched. Um, yeah. Is that why everybody in the neighborhood thinks I'm weird? Because I did that when I first showed up here? That's what I did. When I moved to the neighborhood, I rolled down the street and I just literally stared at everybody from my longboard in slow motion. Thanks, Lily. What's the matter? You guys never seen a guy roll by in slow motion before? Why are you being weird about it? It's not weird. You're making it weird. Next. Delivered two hours ago, active five minutes ago. Okay, so I'm guessing he sent you a text and he sees that you saw the text and you have not responded 
And as the alpha dominant man that he is, he's very upset by this. Right here, the music is about to say something like, get gone. See? Maybe some kind of music is saying, bana, 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 get it, gone. And that's when he did the little, the little thumb move right there. So that was cool. Um, I appreciated it. So don't leave him on red, okay? Because then he'll be like, get it, gone, out of there. I'm a dominant man. I'm paying attention to read receipts. Oh, that's what a big dominant man does. I obsess over the timelines when you read my message. Oh, dominant. <laughs> you care about stuff. That ain't alpha. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what is or is not alpha, okay? I don't care. I believe in the Caesar Mulan school of reasoning, okay? There is submission and there is dominance. Okay, that's what I believe in. Just like dogs, dominance is quiet, just like confidence is quiet. Aggression and insecurity are both loud. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're seeing people speak out about how confident they are. Let's see what happens when somebody leaves a negative comment on one of his posts. I want to remind you that I have zero, absolutely zero problems blocking you. Ooh, tough guy. This reminds me of that one TikTok Thins Tuesday where the person was like, they get so mad when I delete their fat phobic comments. It's funny when people think they're being all cool or tough by moderating their comments section. I will delete you and block you so fast. That's weird. You have like 400,000 followers and you're taking the time to go and delete negative comments. Wow, they must have really got to you. I pin negative comments. Call me the dumbest idiot that you've ever seen in your life, and I will pin that comment below. <laughs> I don't care, bro. As long as you watch the video and I get some of that sweet, sweet chatter, baby, I will block you quicker than you can say, yes, daddy. Oh my God. Even this has to be weird. What the hell? Can we have one video that's not weird, bro, and has the word daddy in it, please? If you can't keep your negative comments off my post. If I can't keep my negative comments off your post, you'll block me. Come on, dude. I was just joking around, man. Oh, come on, man. Every time I make a new account and leave a comment like, why would an alpha male ride a longboard? You can't even do a kickflip on that. You block me. Why? Come on, man. How much time per day do you spend uh, moderating your comments section, which is largely supportive? What? If you don't like what I post, keep them to yourself. Okay, so you've just now discovered that the internet has this feature that allows people to comment and leave feedback on the stuff that you post. Interesting, huh? I guess up until this point, you never realized, right? Everybody's just been saying, yes, daddy, for these past several, several months until one guy came along and was like, wow, dude, what the hell? <laughs> was that Jake Doolittle? Damn it, Jake, you're ruining it for all of us. Is it very alpha to get all butthurt at the comments that people leave on your page? I don't know, man. I will block you. Quick. My assistant will block you. Uh oh. His assistant will block you. Quick. Okay. This is a very bizarre threat. Like, oh no, you'll block me. Then what? Nothing, right? I'll make a new account and come harass you again because clearly it's affecting you. <laughs> That's what a real alpha does. A real alpha sees that his words are annoying you, so he continues to push you with those words to keep annoying you until you do something crazy and then we all laugh about it, right? Okay. All right, man, take it easy. You ain't got to get all crazy. I was just joking, dang it. It's an interesting contrast, right? Um, good girl, meet me in the bedroom. And then the next video, I will delete your negative comments. And then one of the other videos was like, how come you haven't responded to my text? <laughs> how very alpha indeed. Hmm. Next. Oh boy, here we go. An alpha woman can be submissive. He's got quite a few posts talking about an alpha woman and how what they really need is an alpha man. And he is that alpha man that's going to put her in her place and X, Y, Z. Proclaiming yourself to be an alpha is the least alpha thing that I can think of. It's like going around saying to everybody, I'm hot, I'm hot. And then also saying, I'm not insecure. Um... I don't know, man. Only somebody who is very insecure would go around proclaiming themselves to be hot. Hold on, hold on. Wait for her. Here comes the look. Look at his face. Ready? Go. Oh, boy. I can't, I, I can't even read the words right now. I'm lost in your eyes, honey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's see. But only to a confident man that she can trust to lead. 
Dude, this whole alpha male, alpha woman thing is really cringy and weird, man. What, what are you talking about? An alpha woman can blah, blah, blah. Dude, anybody that calls himself an alpha man or an alpha woman is not an alpha and is a total cringe lord. If I met a woman, she's like, oh, I'm an alpha woman. I need you, an alpha man, to put me in my place. I'd be like, lady, there are way too many steps involved. This is a lot of headache already. You're already playing a lot of games that I just don't have time for. I'm an adult. Like, I don't have time to be playing these stupid games. Oh, my God. I'm the most dumb. No, I'm the most dumb. Shut up. Nobody's dominant. None of you are dominant. When push comes to shove and your best, best friend's, friend's brains, brains were blown out right next to you in the trench, nobody's alpha. Okay? Whether or not this dude is or is not an alpha... Like I said, um, I don't know or care. I just find all of the previous behavior to be very cringy indeed. Let's take a look at a couple of the comments underneath his videos. Okay, first of all, it says live daily, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, that's a two hour live stream. And then 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. That's a four hour live stream. This dude streams six hours per day live. Oh my gosh. I love it when you tell me I'm yours. say it um i'm yours i guess it's very bizarre that you need me to say that i'm yours it almost seems like you are a total narcissist with delusions of grandeur let's take a look at the comment <laughs> danny says i'm so in love with you jovi girl says oh yes please april albertson says in my fantasy you've been mine for a while really is this what you're doing with that albertson's money dude this is how you're spending your inheritance Online thirsting over this guy, man. Diane Henderson says, Nice. Jenny says, Mine, mine, mine. And don't you never forget it. The women in this dude's comments remind me of the dudes in the comments on those fishing videos. There are videos on YouTube of women fishing and they're wearing like short shorts or something. And the whole point of the video is not the fishing. The whole point of the video is that this woman is scantily clad. And you can tell that that's the point of the video because if you go to the comments, you're gonna find a bunch of boomers, a bunch of old men in there like, well, you can hook my bait anytime, sweetheart. I'd love to go fishing with you. Burr, 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 burr. And this is just the female equivalent of that in this guy's comment section. And he's reveling in it. And he's like, tell me that you are mine. <laughs> Dude, that is so weird, man. You're only at 400,000 subscribers. And you're basically already trying to get women to tattoo your name on them or brand themselves with your logo or whatever. I don't know. It's really weird. It's quite the display of narcissism and megalomania. Mm. Since this is a Sunday video and it's off topic, it likely won't do as well. So please do me a favor, like and subscribe. Help me get to 50,000 subscribers. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.